All right, hi everybody. We're back at the Neurodiversity Matters Conference. Um, and in this segment, we are gonna be spotlighting uh, programs that SDE partners with or works on. Uh, and I'm very happy and proud to introduce Anna Zimbo, uh, Rachel and Shelly, who all work with the Miracle Project New England. Um, and I'm gonna turn it over to them and let them tell you a bit about their organization and open it up in case you guys have questions. So take it away. Great, thank you, Clay. Um, so I just wanted to start first by thanking Spectrum Theater Ensemble for inviting us. We're really excited to, to be here and to get to talk a little bit about what we do um, at the Miracle Project. So I'm gonna start off, I am Anna Zembo, as Clay said, I'm the program director. Um, and so I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about who we are and then turn it over to my awesome uh, movement specialist and music director, uh, Rachel and Shelley, to share a little bit more about the fun stuff that we do. Um, so the Miracle Project New England is uh, modeled after the Miracle Project in Los Angeles, California, um, which was founded by Elaine Hall in the early 2000s. Um, if anybody watching is familiar with Autism the Musical, um, they're the subjects of that HBO documentary that aired um, also in the early 2000s. So we're modeled after that program. Um, we've been working here in the Providence, Rhode Island area since 2017. Um, so we follow the methodology of the Miracle Project and sort of the general structure that they use for bringing both neurodivergent artists and individuals um, together with neurotypical teens and adults, neurotypical peers um, to create art. So we function with a reverse inclusion model where we create a space supported um, and that is supportive of people on the spectrum of neurodivergent individuals. And then we bring neurotypical peers into that environment through art. Um, so as I mentioned, we've been working since 2017. We've had um, several week long annual summer camp programs. Um, and then this year in 2020, we were really excited to launch our first after school program, um, which started in February of 2020. We have transitioned that fully uh, online at this point in the current circumstances, and that's been going pretty well. Um, but that's, that's kind of us in a nutshell. So we are a performing and expressive arts program. We integrate theater, improvisation, movement, and music. Um, into our program. We produce a showcase at the end of every program that integrates original music that's been written with our um, autistic artists, choreography that's been generated by our specialists and inspired by um, our participants, and also stories and improvisation um, that come from the scene work and the things that we do um, during our programs. So overall, we focus on individual and group talents. Um, we like to highlight all of our awesome individuals that come to us. Um, and we're also really focused on building relationships and that uh, peer model of, of having a neurodiverse group of people creating art together. Um, before I turn it over, I just wanted to uh, also mention that we can't do what we do alone. Uh, we partner with a lot of great organizations, including Spectrum Theater Ensemble. Um, we also partner with our um, flagship program, the Miracle Project in Los Angeles. We partner with Brown University, which Rachel can talk a little bit more about too. Um, we also partner with Bailey's Team, which is a wonderful fundraising organization in our area that supports lots of programming for people with autism. We partner with the Rhode Island Philharmonic, and like I said before, of course, Spectrum Theater. So right now I'm gonna turn it over to Shelly Catch, our music director, to talk a little bit about what she does. Hi, and thank you for having us here. Um, the music that's part of the Miracle Project is um, focused on connection, um, the joy of creating, the joy of expressing ourselves musically, the joy of being able to create in the moment with others, and also the, um, the ability that music um, has to connect us and help us feel like we belong with others. And that's been an interesting challenge this um, after school program as we have focused on how to help our 
group of um, participants, our students, all of them, feel connected and like they belong while we're on a Zoom platform. So um, generally, what we end up doing over the scope of the entire program is we have fun, some fun musical warm-ups that we do so that we treat our bodies well in terms of warming up our voices the way that our movement people and in, in um, acting also uh, warm up the body and warm up the mind. And um, then what I do is focus on creating songs together. Um, there are a few songs that are part of the Miracle Project from um, Los Angeles that every person who's ever been part of the music um, part of the, the Miracle Project knows and, um, and sings. There's a welcoming song and an ending song. So we have some um, pillars at the beginning and the end that everyone's familiar with. And then we play around with ideas um, that convey messages that we want to, to uh, create. And, um, and we put those into musical forms. So everyone can contribute lyrics and we listen to the way that people say those lyrics in their voices and we help stretch those out into melodies. So the songs that we've done so far in the last couple of years have focused on having a voice and what that means in terms of a metaphor and, and being able to sing, but also be heard. We have a song called Count Me In, which is connected to um, like, you know, there's no about us without us. It's about, you know, wanting to be heard and, and, and listened to and taken into account. Um, this year we had a song about belonging that we belong together, which helped us sing together and move together to help us connect over the Zoom platform. So um, basically we are looking for fun, we are creating in the moment and we're helping us connect through a range of musical expression. And I think next is Rachel. Hey, hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm Rachel Balaban, and I just wanted to um, address something that Anna mentioned earlier in terms of partnerships. We have a, a wide range of wonderful partners and a little brief history. Um, I, I teach a course with Julie Strandberg at Brown called Artists and Scientists as Partners, which looks at the role of art um, on people with neurological disorders, specifically Parkinson's and autism. And with the autism piece, um, it was way back in 2014 that we uh, learned about and started this beautiful partnership with the Miracle Project and it has grown to what it is now, what um, Anna described. So we are very proud and pleased to be able to have the Miracle Project as a site placement for our undergraduate students to really experience how art changes lives. And um, so I'm fortunate enough to be the movement person and I get to um, take in all the wonderful creativity of my collaborators, um, Anna and Shelley, and bring in movement. And um, movement, as we all know, is a, you know brings us certainly great physical benefits, but uh, I think almost more, more importantly in a neurodiverse population, it allows us to bring some kind of emotional release and emotional self-regulation self-expression and really um, a sense of heightened self-confidence. And we see that each each week as we move through the music and drama and um, dancing. So uh, Shelly mentioned, we have certain songs that are just a part of our weekly um, practice. And so our, uh, our campers, our actors also have certain warm-ups that they can rely on that they know they will start their their weekly lesson with. And then we get to move on to something where they move with a little more individuality and they get to call out the kind of movement, the kind of music they want to do. And they get to do that individually. So here is a chance for them to kind of um, express themselves, build that confidence and be, be that individual and really uh, learn a uh, pride through, through movement and through the, the physical nature kind of separating themselves from the thinking aspect. It's just moving and really feeling the joy of movement. And then we get to work on this uh, wonderful piece, usually after Shelley has created some incredible music for us to follow. And the fun part there is that we are creating as a community and as the movement director, I am taking cues off of the actors and watching their movements 
listening to the lyrics that perhaps they have co-created with Shelley. And together this becomes such a beautiful collaboration and a beautiful example of how music, movement, theater, all of this uh, builds community, builds our connection. So really the movement part goes from this warm up that we start in the beginning of the class that prepares us for the later in, uh, movement in community and sandwiched between that is this chance for them to be um, expressive and move in their own very specific and particular way. Um, and I just feel quite blessed to be a part of this group um, through movement, theater, music, it, it just fills my soul and we get to see that each week, even through Zoom, we are feeling feeling the love and the beauty and the power of art to, to heal us and to connect us. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Rachel. Um, that actually what you were just saying uh, gave me a thought about um, how we have transitioned to Zoom in this virtual platform. And one of the sort of um, happy surprises that we've found um, is how engaged everyone is. Um, you know, we were nervous at the start. Um, and, and I think even in in-person classes, sometimes those nerves come up. We're not sure, you know, who will walk through the door, where everyone will be at when they're coming into our space. Um, but we've been really pleasantly surprised with how engaged everyone has been, um, especially in the, the virtual medium. Um, and I have to give a little shout out to our autism support specialists and our autism support staff. So we're really lucky at the Miracle Project. Although we are not a therapeutic program, um, we are able to be supported by people with therapeutic backgrounds. So we have a phenomenal speech pathologist. We have a phenomenal occupational therapist um, who can help us, help us as teachers, help our uh, co-actors, our neurotypical peers come in and be the best kind of support and um, you know co-creators that we can be. So um, we've been really pleasantly surprised with how um, they've been able to support us in supporting <laughs> our actors um, transitioning to this new medium. So I think that about wraps it up for us. Um, I'll throw it back to Clay um, and thank you so much for having us. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And we're excited Thank to you. you all this summer. Uh, <laughs> I've known y'all for a long time. You're great. Um, so fantastic. Uh, so it's 1.52 right now. Our next session is logging on and we'll start at 2 p.m. But we have a little bit of a breather. Uh,